Hello again, YouTubers on with SpongeBob 101, back here again on the SpongeBob channel with SpongeBob News. Today is April 12th, 2024, and we have some decent news to talk about today. The first order of business, of course, is the all-new SpongeBob movie, The Search for SquarePants logo, available now. So we finally have the official logo, but really very little else uh, on top of that regarding the fourth SpongeBob theatrical release of course not counting the spin-offs and all that all right so here we are on comicbook.com the spongebob movie search for squarepants to release in theaters in 2025 and we already knew that we've talked about that on the channel before but let's just take a look at what this article has to say and of course we do have the logo which we're going to go to again uh shortly so it says SpongeBob SquarePants is getting a new project with the SpongeBob movie Search for SquarePants. CinemaCon is rolling strong in Las Vegas and Nickelodeon rolled out their big star for the festivities. The SpongeBob movie Search for SquarePants hits theaters on December 19th, 2025. Now we've talked about how this was delayed from um, early 2025 because of some strikes, but um, it seems like they are set on a December 19th, 2025 release. In this new feature, SpongeBob is headed to the depths of the ocean to square off with the Flying Dutchman's ghost. It will probably take a similar tone to the other three movies that fans have loved over the years. No word on if Keanu Reeves is set to return yet. Interestingly enough, fans are still getting a Sandy Cheeks movie this year, but Saving Bikini Bottom, the Sandy Cheeks movie is actually a spin-off from the main franchise. So technically, the fourth movie will be the latest mainline adventure. It's a lot of SpongeBob to handle all at once. We'd forgive you for having to take a moment to collect yourself. Go ahead and check out the new logo and release date below while you process all the information. Right, okay, so that's a little bit exaggerated. Uh, we've been waiting for the Sandy Cheeks movie to premiere for quite a long while now, and I believe it is, in fact, premiering on Netflix very, very soon. But uh, that's beside the point because it kind of already leaked, so nothing too much to anticipate from that. Uh, however, here we have the official SpongeBob movie X or Twitter handle uh, tweeting out or posting uh, the logo of course that you see in the thumbnail for this video welcome aboard the spongebob movie search for squarepants is coming to theaters december 19th 2025 we want to zoom in on this logo just a little bit to give you guys a better look here now of course the part where it says the spongebob movie you know i mean well that's, that's just what it is but very interestingly we do have the loading device here with the rope we have the uh, wooden sword you know kind of tying in with the pirate links that uh, this movie will have with the flying dutchman of course uh, the flying dutchman's um, you know typical behavior walking the plank and all that just like a typical pirate would but he's a ghost pirate so that adds a little bit more uh, pizzazz to his character i guess uh, we really do not have anything else beyond this on the movie, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll get more information on it very soon. Still cool to, you know, have a reiteration of the release date and the new logo. Again, it is subject to change. Nothing is always confirmed until it is really confirmed. But uh, yeah, also here on Collider, SpongeBob Movie Search for SquarePants will arrive next Christmas. So it does say, celebrate SpongeBob's 25th anniversary with his fourth theatrically released film, promising a quest of self-discovery in Bikini Bottom. Which is, again, a little bit weird because, I mean, I thought we were going beyond Bikini Bottom. But anyways, also, his 20th anniversary is this year, which they rightly point out. It's this year. But <laughs> the movie is releasing on the 25th sixth year essentially right so um yeah i, I just still am kind of disappointed that it was pushed back but you can rush these things uh if the product is not done it's just not done so it is what it is but yeah um that is the update on the spongebob movie four now let's go over to some very interesting news here uh, here on Nick Live. So Nickelodeon sets the date for Kids' Choice Awards 2024, airing live on Saturday, July 13th at 8 p.m. Eastern from Pauly Pavilion in Los Angeles. Show elements to be dedicated to SpongeBob SquarePants' 25th landmark anniversary. Now, 
Uh, want to get this out of the way. SpongeBob has been winning favorite cartoon at the Kids Choice Kids Choice Awards um, every single year since at least two thousand and nine. So uh, there is literally no reason to to expect any other cartoon to win the favorite cartoon, uh, whether it is rigged or not. I'm not sure because it is completely not transparent. But whatever it is, I'm perfectly fine for SpongeBob to win favorite cartoon because well, this is a SpongeBob channel after all, right? Nickelodeon has set the date and venue for its highly anticipated annual Slime Fest, airing live on Saturday, July 13th. The show marks its return in over a decade to Paul Lee Pavilion on the campus of UCLA in Los Angeles, California, and will celebrate kids' favorites. And will celebrate kids' favorites from across movies, television, music, sports, and of course, slime. Additional information, including hosts and nominations, will be announced shortly. So. Again, this article was、uh, published on March thirteenth. We are exactly a month out, <laughs> or beyond that.、Uh, but interestingly, I, I think this is probably the most important part of the article. To coincide with KCA twenty twenty four, this July also marks the milestone twenty fifth anniversary of the Emmy Award winning SpongeBob SquarePants, a year long global celebration that will honor the beloved franchise throughout the year. Fans can de. Throughout the year, fans can dive deep into the SpongeBob SquarePants universe with all new content debuting on Nickelodeon and Paramount Plus. This summer, Nickelodeon will celebrate two of its biggest and most beloved franchises, the KCAs and SpongeBob SquarePants.、Uh, celebrating both in July creates incredible opportunities for both properties that win on every platform. Get ready for some nautical nonsense on the KCAs, slime included. So one thing I do have to point out, I am actually returning to the United States this July. Unfortunately, I would not be there、uh, for the Kids Choice Awards, even if I really wanted to. But、uh, more details on that trip, including potential Nickelodeon inclusions, <laughs> Nickelodeon Universe,、uh, will be discussed in future videos because I am way too swamped with actual real life work right now. But nonetheless, this is an interesting time. Usually, in the past few years, we've had the KCAs in March. Uh, and to just have them push it to July, I really am curious as to how much of the tie-in will be there between the KCA and SpongeBob. I mean, can you imagine them using yellow colored slime?、Uh, I wouldn't be surprised at this point, but you know, we we just have to wait and see、uh, what happens there, right? So,、uh, looking forward to July thirteenth. Okay, so before we end up the video, let's have our bonus round of miscellaneous SpongeBob news. SpongeBob SquarePants the special pack now available in VR for the Power Wash Simulator. I'm not gonna really go through this in detail because we've talked about this before.、Uh, basically, what this is is that the、uh, DLC for SpongeBob in the Power Wash Simulator has now been expanded to the well, I mean Meta something like that. So、uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting that. You get to do that, but hey, come on, Power Wash Simulator. It's for people、uh, that are not me, <laughs> right? So I'll leave a link to this in the description box below if you guys are interested. We also have this really cool thing: SpongeBob SquarePants restaurant to open in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The Nickelodeon hit franchise's first standalone restaurant, Bob Esponja Burger and Restaurante, will offer fast food, fine dining, kids areas, and a store. Most important, from April. Uh, Nickelodeon Sponge Squarepants is getting a themed restaurant in Sao Paulo, and the hit franchise's first official standalone restaurant will open its doors in April. Right, so it's pretty cool.、It、includes four food areas, one retail, and two kids spaces, taking visitors into the world of SpongeBob Squarepants and his friends. So very important here. It's actually official. It's official, right? It's not like a fan made, like limited time thing.、Uh, it's Partnering on the venue with a company called Fan and Food, and the first floor of the destination will feature a hamburger restaurant with 144 seats and a design set to make people feel like residents of Bikini Bottom, according to the partners. The Flying Dutchman's Lounge.、Uh, I'm I'm not sure why this is specifically. Is it meant to tie in with a movie or something? On the second floor, we'll have 40 seats where fans can、uh, enjoy a unique moment inside the Flying Dutchman's ghost ship. They said. Also on the second floor will be the SpongeBob House. Oopsie, yep, there we go. Described as the first and only SpongeBob SquarePants themed fine dining spot in the world with seventy seats, customers will be able to enjoy a special menu created by renowned chef Heaven Dalhai. 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying they're right, but okay. The venue also feature a SpongeBob store, my favorite, and two kid spaces, one of which is Casa da Sandy, located on the mezzanine, where children will immerse themselves in the universe of Sandy Cheeks or Sandy Bocheches, Bocheches, I'm not sure how you say it in Portuguese, um, as the character is known in Brazil. The restaurant will be part of the Paramount Location-Based Entertainment and Experiences Division, which brings Paramount stories and franchises to life across theme parks. Hey, uh, that's uh, something we'll be t- looking at later this year. Hotels and resorts, water parks, cruises, theme restaurants, etc., etc. Alrighty, so that is that. I, I am not going to be able to go to Sao Paulo. I literally live on the other side of the world from Sao Paulo. Uh, and it's also a pretty long flight from the United States. So I wouldn't be able to detract from my North America adventure later this summer. Okay, and the last order of business here. I know this is old news, but I just wanted to cover it just because it's it's pretty cool. And I hope that, you know, they'll do something similar to this in the future. Uh, there was a official special or limited edition, actually, SpongeBob Xbox Series X. This was um, a tie-in with Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 and was exclusive to Best Buy. So, of course, it sold out extremely quickly, and I didn't even bother to try to buy it because um, Xbox are just not, is just not my console. But if they ever made a Nintendo Switch SpongeBob Special Edition, you can bet I'll be in line immediately, okay? So it was going for $699.99 on the Best Buy app. Um, and it looked pretty cool. I just thought, you know, the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 logo should have been replaced with the SpongeBob logo. Uh, just because, you know, it's SpongeBob. That's the whole point. I get they were trying to, you know, bundle the game and promote All-Star Brawl 2. But, uh, yeah, hopefully since, you know, this is 25th anniversary of SpongeBob, let's see a Nintendo Switch SpongeBob edition. I doubt it. But, uh, yeah. Finally, coming over to the Best Buy product page here, we can actually take a closer look at the, uh, product itself. So you can see the Xbox and the very cool controller on both sides. It kind of does reuse, uh, stock SpongeBob art, but, you know, it, it's pretty cool. I think my favorite part has to be the controller. But then again, it the, the art, the design just doesn't fit right on a controller perfectly. So it's it's something cool to have. Uh, and I'm sure many, many people or uh, SpongeBob fans got it. Or many people who are not SpongeBob fans also purchased it for uh, different reasons. But if you look at the bottom of the controller here, you can see the All-Star Brawl logo too, as well. And on the back, yeah, right here. So copyright 2024, Xbox. It comes with a copy of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 as well. And, you know, this is a pretty cool item, I would have to say. It's just not something uh, that I really wanted for my collection anyways. All right, so that's all for our video today. Let me know in the comments, are you excited for SpongeBob Movie 4? Make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys again in the next SpongeBob video coming real soon. Till then, bye.